<laughs> Jacqueline Lemoyne has her hands full with the creation of her very own pair of mukluks, but she doesn't mind. Mine is raised beating, which is Iroquois. Um, people do that, and I, I like a challenge. <laughs> Jacqueline, who is Ojibwe, is one of many taking part in a muckluck making course known as Story Boot School, organized by local footwear company Manitoba Mucklucks. We could provide um, an opportunity for young people and older people, just Aboriginal people, to learn how to make mucklucks and moccasins and make sure that that art form survives you know, and is made the same way for another 500 years. This is week two of the six-week class. Students' early designs will soon look like these, and all boots will have a personal and unique story to them. I've seen so many students just kind of sit there and, and think about what is it, who, are, who are they, they might be thinking of their children, they might be thinking about their grandmother, they might be thinking about somewhere they've been, and it's a story, it's those thought processes you're pulling from your past, you're pulling from your present, and you're putting it into this, this piece of art and it's a living, breathing um, story. Marilyn Tanner Spence is the teacher of this class, passing down her knowledge to eager learners. The owner of local business Tika's Boutique says her way is just one of many. I could teach a class here today on how to make a moccasin, and another uh, group, another person could come in here, maybe from a different tribe, and they would teach a different style. So there's not one right or wrong way to make a pair. Just like shoes, there's millions of different styles of shoes. Her goal is to have students walk away with more than just a pair of mukluks. When we're here, we learn about beads, we learn about culture, we learn about uh, Manitoba mukluks, we learn about Aboriginal people. So we have all kinds of different things that we learn here. We just don't uh, learn to make a pair of mukluks. Five more story boot schools have recently launched around Canada, with more and more interest being shown. Handcrafted muckluck and moccasin making is fading thanks to mass manufactured types of footwear. But the Story Boot School aims to keep the craft around for a long time. That's our dream is that everywhere, that every person has that opportunity to learn this art form. And it's, it's, it's more than just making moccasins, it's more than just, you know, making pair of mucklucks that you can wear around. It's, it's about cultural revitalization, it's about um, clawing back what has been lost in, in, in a lot of different ways people have, you know, lost this art form. So I'm trying to make veins on my beadwork. And Story Boot students like Jacqueline are excited to soon hold their personal version of Aboriginal heritage. I like the the way it looks. I like the way it's you know comes out and whatever. So, and I've been beating other things in my life, but not mukluks. I'm interested in it. I really like it. For Shot TV's Go, I'm Kevin Hirschfield.